Yeah, so Gavin Newsom, he writes this op-ed, and he's playing armchair psychologist. Donald Trump knew what these Democrats were going to do. Oh, you're insane, you're insane. Just just read it. Go to the LA Times, read his op-ed on why he, he over, what you went ahead and said, we're going to override the release of Sirhan Sirhan. Here's what we have, I mean, for you people that know your Chappaquiddick, uh, just as much, know just as much as DJT about it. By the way, Donald Trump Jr., him and I, they're all rich family. We're all rich family. We all know rich family. That the, his thing with Chappaquiddick and the Kennedys and the, all of it, they hate Kennedys. Because if you look at Art of the Deal, this is what he's a beneficiary to. You know, this is what he's uh, Donald Trump. I mean, you thought, oh, you look at uh, Jackie O. That's what I was going to talk about. Jackie O. And the dress. If you're a Democrat, well, you don't want to be Ivanka. Well, you can do Jackie O. And you go up on the web for you know Grand G C T Grand Central. Terminal, New York, subways, all they go through there, and then you've got you're gonna go into the subway, and then you've got all the trains that go through there, and this all this there's shopping in there. And when they were doing this in the 70s or 80s, or was it maybe early 90s, they would bring back Grand Central Terminal. You look at the history of you go to the website, this you know, Jackie O. We all know Jackie O. You know what Jackie O is for. You know, to Jackie O. Jack Jacqueline Onassis, and she has this architect that she's doing this with go to the website all the story it's all there but who really builds all this stuff is architect and there's jackie o architect and jackie o is look at look at what whose name is up there it's trump t-r-u-m-p so this is why djt has a problem with chapaquita kennedy is because oh the real my dad is really the person who built it that's the reasoning but that's sort of the psychology much like djt i like it. his wife template ain't bad Kim Guilfoyle, I have a thing for news girls myself. That's what this is all about, the new segregation. The new segregation, but, it, but, but you know, that's why his dad takes care of that for us. He puts the wall, we keep the wall, we defend the wall, so we can also get a Fox News babe. You see what I'm saying? But, okay, that's just like, you know, his dad was always fucking up the media, fucking up the media in New York. And so, like, to me, because it's the son, these are, it's a princess. These Fox News baby, it's a princess. Okay, okay, I get it. I get the deal. Well, let's let's find me a dad then that had to fuck up the media of Hawaii to build all this stuff. We didn't. We, they didn't really need to do that. Hawaii. So, oh, she's a Lauren Day. She's a princess. What a princess! Like Lauren Teruya. She. Oh, oh, these. I call them gray girls. UNLV, Scarlet and Gray. Scarlet and gray, green spun all, the, their newsprint, you know, it's like their nectar is just rub off on your fingers kind of thing, you know, you, you got all this, you know, it's Honolulu Star Advertiser, or LA Times, Emily Baumgartner, oh my god, and so you, you're just, you're just, you know, the scent of their womanhood, it just rubs off on your fingers, you can see it, that black and that color, San Diego Union Tribune, all their, it's just on your fingers. You know, it's at the Scarlet, the Gray Girls, what I call them. They're not on TV, but they're they're in print, on paper, and these are the women. We didn't really have to do that. You have, by the way, this thing with that's why I say there's Castle and Cook, drop the red pill. You think it's collective? Oh, you know, when you get your 30-year mortgage to live there and not be homeless in Honolulu, and you pay this, and you work your whole life as a slave to these companies. People, people really still think this way. I mean, they think they're getting something. Actually, they think that they're oh, this is Castle and Cook. This is of the Big Five. This is of the era. By the way, nothing. If you know your history, Royals didn't get along with them too well for the most part. These are the people bayonet Constitution, mostly on that side of it. First off, but oh, it's heritage. It's heritage. There was healing of, and they they are Queen Lily Okalani. These Big Five Dole. Castle and Cook, they are Kamehameha. You know, we go to Kamehameha and get our, you know, we didn't go to Punahou, we didn't go to Iolani, went to camp school. We don't call it camp school, that's Chinese, it's Hawaiian. Kamehameha, unite the eight islands, that's strength, the scepter, the man with the statue, Honolulu Fire Department, Kamehameha Day. There's a Murphy Street in Pahrump, there's all, there's, and there's a Milzinski, yes, with names in Pahrump, there's a Milzinski, there's a Murphy, there's a Mankins Road. And in Honolulu, in Hawaii, we have Kamehameha, 
highway. It's a very important highway. Is seen as running through the middle of the island. We we will never forget all through Waipahu, through into town, becoming them as Kameha Meha Highway. And this the Honolulu Fire Department takes their yellow app, engine apparatuses out on Kameha Meha. They and, and takes the big the ladder gets it puts a lay on the big statue. There's a replica statue, by the way. You know. Um, uh, Washington, D.C., every state puts a statue of someone important. That's the Kamehameha statue for Hawaii. So there's a replica of it at uh, Rotunda at the uh, Washington, D.C. But you know, we have the right there in front of, right across from the library, the old Iolani Palace, right across from the very, very, very library, a very important place to the Matthew F. Ursua story, by the way. You'll find me anytime in Hawaii. Go to that library. They've been closed during COVID, even though flights were pretty cheap. And it was easy to get down there when we all had to wear the mask. LA might be bringing back that mask mandate. I heard. So when I catch the train up there, they're going to say, Keep your mask on. Like, God damn it. I'm done with the mask. I'm done with the mask. I've had long COVID since the beginning. <coughs> and it just helps me lose weight. That COVID is a, uh, what doesn't, as in, to echo Nietzsche, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Fuck the mask, but okay, I gotta wear the mask up in LA when I go up there, but down here it's just, you know, let's enjoy the COVID, let's lose some weight, let's keep exercising and pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, let's push yourself to the extreme, drink 10 gallons of water, weight lift, and we, we can live just like we can live with HIV, you know, we had uh, Magic Johnson come out and he brought all this, we, it takes in Bono, Bono, you do you take this is what it takes to survive if you're hiv positive we can live with covid and it's only a good thing because what doesn't kill you it's going to make you stronger um 